Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be building a snowboard and ski rack. So the materials that you're going to be using are one 2x4x8, four, four one inch by 3 foot dowels, a Phillips head drill bit, tape measure, pencil, some wood screws, wood glue, and a 25 millimeter drill bit. So let's get building. Okay, now we are going to mark the dowels one foot apart so we can start cutting them. So I am marking these dowels one foot apart because it gives just enough room for my snowboard to fit on there. But if yours is wider, you can always make it a little bit longer. I prefer having it this length because I don't want it to like stick off, but it is also the perfect length for my snowboard. So when I cut these dowels, I'm wearing safety glasses and I'm using a table saw. Table saws are a lot nicer than hand saws or electric hand saws because they give way more accurate and support and it goes a lot faster. I would highly recommend trying to get a table saw when you cut dowels. Okay, now we are gonna mark the two by fours in the measurements that I will have up above. So I'm using these measurements because my bindings are a little bit taller than normal and it gives you just enough room to fit your snowboard comfortably on the rack. Okay, now we have to drill holes in the board so we can fit the dowels in. So I'm just using a regular drill with a one inch drill bit to cut the holes, but it would be a lot easier if you had a drill press because I'm just eyeballing it to make a little hole at the end so I can have room for the screws. Now that we have the holes drilled in, we're gonna glue in the dowels. Okay, now we are going to glue the wood dowels into these. So, let's go. You can drink my liquor, you can call my lady, you can take my money, you can smoke my blood. Scuff these Jordans, you can say you hate me, you can call me crazy, but don't touch my truck. Cause the subs stay hidden If they roll up on me No, I keep one to Tell them boys come get me I be riding through the city Young rich and I'm pretty Homie, don't get it twisted Keep it soft in the head Okay, now that we have the dowels glued in We are gonna screw them in With some wood screws So you don't have to use screws But it helps a lot to straighten the dowels out and it is just giving more support because if you have more than your board on there, it is really helpful. So this is the finished product so far and we're almost done. Okay, it is currently the next day and we are gonna spray paint our ski rack silver. Okay, now that we have that one done, let's do this one. Okay, now that we've both them done, we can start hanging them on the wall. Okay, so all we have to do is hang these on the wall. I'm just gonna use some drywall screws to screw them into some studs. So I would show you a video of me putting the ski rack up, but I thought that would be boring. So here's a video of Sierra trying to catch a fly. So we just finished hanging up the rack, so the only thing left to do is put all of our stuff on. Okay, so we have finally finished. We have all of our stuff on here, and I made this so 
Not only can it store your skis and snowboard, but you can also put your boots, helmet, ski poles, whatever you want. You could even put like your gloves or hat on them here too. But you can also store storage under here. And it depends how high you put it. You can put it high or low. But I personally think this is a great way to show off your snowboard and skis and great storage. Thanks for watching. See you next time.